Okay, it's also very important once we understand where these fractions lie along the number line. Um, it's, it's important for us to understand what kinds of things are smaller and what kinds of things are larger um, than a number, just like we do with regular numbers. You know, we need to know what's smaller and what's larger. Well, before we can do that, we also need to go back over these symbols. This symbol pointing to the left is the less than sign. The symbol that is pointing to the right is the greater than sign. You have to know what those two are. You have to know not only which way they point, but you also need to know the name of them, the proper name, because we're going to be using that in later on in further math classes. So let's try to compare two fractions and see which one is larger and which one is smaller. Here this says to write less than or greater than to make a true statement. So we're going to put that symbol in here to show which one is smaller and larger. Well, if our denominators are not the same, it's very, very difficult to be able to look at them and compare the two because these are different size slices. In order to be able to look at them nicer, we need to have a common denominator. So between 2 and 8, our common denominator would be an 8. So our second fraction there is already over the common denominator. But our first fraction, we would need to multiply top and bottom by 4. So 1 times 4 would be 4. 4 eighths is the same thing as saying 1 half. And now we can look at these and compare them much nicer. Would we rather have 4 out of 8 pieces or 3 out of 8 pieces? Well, this would be more, wouldn't it? So since this is greater than this number, we would have to put in our greater than symbol. Okay. Let's try one more. Here we have 13 fifteenths and 8 ninths. And again, we can't compare the two because they have different denominators right now. So we need to figure out a common denominator between 15 and 9. And in this case, that would be 45. 45 is the first number that they will both go into. So I have to multiply 15 times 3 to get 45. So I'm going to do the same thing to the top. 13 times 3 would be 39. And for the second fraction, 9 times 5 would be 45. So 8 times 5 would be 40. Now we can see that 39 is smaller than 40 or less than. So our 13 fifteenths is actually less than 8 ninths.